What is up you guys, State Servant Junior here. If it's your first time checking in on these videos, well, you started at a good day. Today I'm gonna take you through some weight-based exercises that you can do and use to increase your calisthenic and gymnastics-based strength. These are exercises that I use during my time in gymnastics to do a Maltese, to do a Iron Cross, and to gain really explosive leg strength. So these are three super valuable, high-impact exercises that you can use please start with low weight when you do these because your tendons also have to get strong as your muscles do. But tendon strength takes a little bit longer to develop, so just keep that in mind. Start low with the weights. Either way, you guys are gonna enjoy this. Yo, real quick, check out the links in this description. You can get my supplements, some coaching from me, and you can really benefit from doing the type of workouts that I do, which are pretty varied in style, however, if you wanna be like a hybrid athlete, which is what I consider myself, being strong both in the weight room and calisthenically, then you'd have to train like me, right? So check that out, stacyervinjr.app. You will find that in the links in the description, but I just wanna give you a heads up that that's something that will be super valuable for you as you work to gain more calisthenic strength and more weight-based strength and overall just being a freak athlete. But enough about that. Let's get into these exercises today and I want you to use them next time you hit the weight room just so you can see what they feel like and see how they can create those changes in your body. Let's go. So before we get into this, actually there are a couple more weighted exercises that I wanna show you that we use to warm up our shoulders in gymnastics. Um, can be used as a prehabilitative exercise or a rehabilitative exercise, but either way, they will help strengthen the stability of your shoulders and just the overall mobility. So check out these workouts as, or these exercises as well and use them for any time you're working upper body to really get your shoulders warmed up. Lightweight, I'm talking like, I'll probably use fives or like seven and a half. So I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna use five. So you're gonna post up. Typically, I would suggest being on something that's a little elevated so you can lie totally supine or prone. I'm um, sorry, so you could just be face down. But if you can't, you can't find an elevated surface for that, feel free to incline a bench. It'll change the dynamics a little bit, but you'll still get the effect. So the first one we'll do is more so for like rotator cuff, right? So you're gonna start with the weights out in front of you, scaps protracted forward, and you're gonna retract, bring your elbows up and in, like directly behind you, open the weight down and back to that position. So you're warming up the shoulder with this movement and you follow the same pattern on the way back down. So as I open, I follow the exact same motion pattern. You can see why this would be better if you were lying totally flat instead of like this. But yeah, instead of like 10 of those, get your shoulders nice and warm. And then the next warm up exercise you wanna try are just Y's and T's, all right? So again, you wanna retract your shoulder blades when you start any of these, so you go up, here, down, up, T, down, shape of a Y, down, shape of a T, down. I like to think thumbs up when I do this for either of them. Really keeps their shoulders nice and healthy and gets them prepared for exercise. Now this first exercise I'm gonna show you is a Maltese push with dumbbells. Now, the only time I was ever able to do a Maltese during my gymnastics career, I was doing this exercise with 75 pound dumbbells in each hand. That's pretty heavy considering the movement that you're about to see. Um, but again, like I'm about to do this with 30s. First of all, I haven't done it in a while. Secondly, I'm not trying to get my Maltese back at this moment. And thirdly, I just don't think that my tendon strength is where it was prior to, I guess, this moment in time. So I'm gonna show you this movement. Again, you can try it out yourself, but essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna find yourself on a bench. You're gonna hold hollow hold. So good position hollow hold. And you're going to have dumbbells in each hand. 
you're going to extend those dumbbells down to your side and then press them back up, right? So a Maltese is like a flat, a flat position on the rings, right? So that's what we're training here is the front body, anterior portion of our body and shoulders to be able to push and maintain body weight, right? So the heavier it gets in each hand, the more closely it aligns to body weight. So I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna just show you what the hell it is anyway. So I got my dumbbells. First thing I wanna do is lay back and extend the weight over my head. Next step, to start, let's, let's have you start with your feet based on the floor, okay? Because a more advanced way to do this would be to be in the hollow hold, but I prefer you keep your feet on the floor to start this. Again, go lighter than this. 30s is already, I can tell, a lot of weight for this, especially on your elbows. But here's the exercise. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and push. Lower the weight down to your side and push. You can see how this would strain the elbows if not prepared for this movement as well as how gymnasts get those eccentrically strong biceps from holding positions like this. But even at 30 pounds right now, this is extremely challenging and everything is pretty tense. But like a set of five to eight of those as you begin will be pretty sufficient. Um, I'll do another set but with the hollow hold so you can see what that really looks like. And again, you already saw the video of what the Maltese position was, so keep that in mind when you're doing it. All right, so this time, this is the more advanced uh, version of it. Again, I'll be holding the hollow hold and then we'll actually step it up one more time for a super advanced version of it that is like, you probably have a Maltese at that point if the weights are heavy enough. But again, same thing, get into position, Weights above your head, you're on a bench, get into a hollow hold with the weights above you. The reason you want to start with them on the floor is because it's a balance thing too. So now we're only balanced on the small of my back and it becomes a full body core exercise, arm exercise, and leg exercise because you have to keep that tension in order to keep your balance. But you can see how this would strengthen your ability to do a Maltese and also your plant strength. And hold. So there you go. Those are Maltese pushes. And those things, they'll make you work. <laughs> and then the last progression for this, you put a plate on your feet for the hollow hold and your weights in your hands, right? So y'all got me out here working today. Y'all got me out here working, working. It's a little more challenging to get into. So we'll start with that. Bring this weight up here. Get it low on your feet, okay? So you got more pressure on your core. Hollow hold with it. Get in position. One. Two, ah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold. Yeah, so you can see, you can see why that one would be a little more challenging than the previous two. Especially keeping that leg up, those, those legs up during the movement. By the end of that, you're pretty toast. But again, that's just one skill for rings. You gotta think of like the muscular endurance, strength, and power that it takes. You gotta train for it, that's the only way to do it. So, that'll do it for this one. Let's go over and uh, mimic some, some iron cross work. All right, the next exercise we're gonna work on is for iron cross and cross pulls. So really working the chest strength and bicep strength and shoulders. So what we're gonna use is the cable machine. You're gonna hook up the two single hand grips on either side of it, a little bit higher, probably just above head height, or unless, you, if you can't do that, then just bend your knees a little bit for the exercise. But essentially, 
you're going to be in the iron cross position and you're going to be doing what I like to call cross flies. So pulling down towards your midline and keeping your shoulders and chest up as you go through the exercise. And you'll really feel the exercise working on the inside of your biceps here and that pec minor attachment. So make sure that you're warmed up again. And you're, if you do these exercises like in the sets and reps that I tell you, like a three sets of 10 or three to eight or three by eight, you're gonna be sore tomorrow. So just know that and take care of it. Roll out, drink water, do all that good stuff. But essentially, so here's the exercise, right? I'm gonna grab each handle. Right now I have 50s for each pulley. Start lighter than that. Make sure you're centered up with the racks. Again, you're gonna start with shoulders retracted and down. You're gonna to pull towards your midline, all the way in. Slow on the way up, all the way back in. Slow on the way up, all the way back in. And again, you can see how this will impact your ability and cross strength as it pulls through this position here, right? So if you do your three to eight or three by eight, whatever, on that last rep, let it out and hold it and try and feel how all those stabilizer muscles are working and where the largest muscle groups are working together to coordinate that strength. So you can start to experience a little bit more of that cross strength. So we will use that exercise to help us hold iron crosses longer and give us a stronger ability to pull out of that cross for a higher difficulty skill. But that's really it for that one. You can increase the weight as you go um, to increase the difficulty and challenge, but for the most part, that's just, that's the exercise. It's a pretty cool exercise. I was saying like, I feel like anytime you use the cable machine to like do some stuff, you just feel like Hercules or some shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna do one more set of these. I up the weight to 70 on each side. So it's a little more challenging. I haven't done this in a while. I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. 70 is heavy for this. I feel it all over my shoulders, and my pec, and my biceps, and that pec attachment in the arm. Mm. Yeah. Woo. Definitely in the chest though. Definitely in the chest. And now yes, arm strength is obviously extremely crucial for men's gymnastics, but we can't overlook the leg power and strength that you need to tumble and vault well, right? So the last exercise I'm gonna show you is actually a leg exercise. We've done two things for shoulders and rings and just general upper body strength and stability. But this last one, this is actually one of my favorites because it sucks real bad, but it works really good as well. Um, overhead, jumping, pause, high knee, plate lunge, right? Something like that. <laughs> jumping switch lunge with a knee pause at the top. Anyways, it's for explosive strength through your quads and your legs and lower body in general. So it really works everything. But the premise is, you know, arm overhead, lunge position. You're gonna pop up and pause with that knee that's already on the ground driving up and you hold that for just like a half second and then you go to the next one, right? So it's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Ooh. And you can see, because it's not only challenging your legs and every single muscle there, but that overhead strength and stability. This is a 45 pound plate. So you can do a round of those. Like, I don't know, eight to 10 reps on each leg. As you go down the length of something, you could even do it standing in place. But uh, really helps with your jump strength, your ability to explode up off the ground and have some force generated from that power in your legs. Anyway, there you go. Those are three exercises. Well, plus the bonus of the shoulder warm-ups. Those are some exercises that you could do that are weighted using weights like a weight room, a gym, what have you, to increase your calisthenic or your gymnastic strength. Guys, those are exercises that I used during my gymnastics career and countless other gymnasts use them as well and it works however you have to add them in with consistency and intensity and again progressive overload is always the name of the game right so stepping up the weights that you use in order to increase that power increase that strength that endurance and just 
overall your proficiency with those skills and those exercises. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you check the links in the description if you want to work out, train like me. My app has just dropped not too long ago and you can sign up, get your first month for just a single dollar. Guys, I guarantee you if you try the workouts that I do, it's gonna change your body. It's gonna change the way you think about fitness. You're gonna have a good time doing it. So check that out. Again, links in the description for my supplements that I use, my meal plans that I create for my clients, and the merchandise that I sell. You know, wave apparel and first form gear, all that good stuff, guys. Check it out, all right? Support your boy, holla at your boy, do the thing. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you know when I'm coming back with another video. I'm out of breath and I'm out of time. This is Stacey Irvin Jr. signing off, ride the wave.